What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a draft where we're either going to pick Time Walk or Channel. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? It's probably Time Walk, right? <clears throat> time Walk is good all the time. Channel is good sometimes. <clears throat> so for the first time in my life, I'm able to file for unemployment because I was a contractor previously for the rest of, for, for my entire, for the past like 10 years, I was a contractor. But at Scopely, I was a full-time salaried employee. So being laid off, I am able to apply for unemployment. So I did that online and I just called them today. Uh, and I was like, I just wanted to be like, hey, I just want to make sure everything's in order. Like that all my <clears throat> stuff is correct, that there's nothing else needed from me. Just to like talk to a real person and get like an opinion on that. So I called them at like three and a half hours ago. And they're like, if you'd like a call back, let us know and you can, you know, we'll call you back. And I was like, okay. And then they, you know, they, they were like, is this your number? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, you'll receive a call back and you won't lose your place in line. <laughs> I just got the call right now. I start streaming one minute after I start streaming. That's when they call me. Fantastic. Four hours later. So, you know, totally reasonable though. Totally reasonable. We took a treachery there. I'm following your content since 2004. Long time. Appreciate your work. Thank you for the... Hey, Malucha, Maluco. Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. 2004. Wow, that's like almost 20 years. Oh, no. It's got to be closer to 2009. I think I started content in 2009. So probably less than that. But... Could also mean 2014, which even 2014 is still eight years ago, which is still a long time. So, <laughs> tough start. Yeah, I don't like either of these cards. I just pick them because I actually timed out, so it just picked them automatically. I don't know. The packs were so bad that Thank I couldn't you. even decide. Cyborg Yui with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, this is an interesting pack. What's our best cards with Time Walk? Um, Snapcaster. Arcane Proxy. But what else? The Theo the Hero, what up? Welcome, welcome, my dude. Glad you could join. So honestly, I think most of the best cards with Time Walk are blue cards, so we're not really hurting for a second color. Soulfire Grandmaster, actually. Good call. Good call. A little pricey, but, you know, it, it's a hard lock, so I guess that's I guess that's worth it. <laughs> um, yeah, I am leaning towards swords, to be quite honest. I also could see taking Pestermite, because I think this is a stronger card with the accompanying cards, and it keeps us on color as well. So if we end up getting... Oh, well, there's a Demonic Tutor, and a Balance, and an Upheaval, and a Riftwing Cloudscape. All of these are good. All of these are good. They're all good. See, this is interesting to me. You have the Phyrexian Revoker in the retro frame. You have the Dothy Voidwalker in the retro frame. But you have Bayou, Demonic Tutor, and Balance in modern Thank frames. You. Like, what's your... What's your aesthetic here? <clears throat> oh, Franconic Disciple. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Is it, God, I really don't know what's pickier. 16 seconds, huh? It's one of these three. And I could even see taking like upheaval just to stay on color. God, upheaval's so good. I'm going to take the Rift Wing. We have nothing to... So no, I'm going to take Demonic Tutor. <laughs> Demonic Tutor's just so much stronger than, <clears throat> than Rift Wing Cloud Skate. Like, I, and now we can take Bitter Blossom and that feels okay. It's the only card in here I'd want. Um... And there's a lot of things that combo with a Bitter Blossom as well, including things like Sword of Fire and Ice. Sower of Temptation's cute. I like a Sower of Temptation. Sword by Man of Man. Just take Sword. <clears throat> Swords on Flying Creatures is just good. I'm okay with it. Let's see. Untap it for three. Create a 1-1 one, one for two. Create a 1-1 one, one Flyer for one after that, and then create a 4-4. Four, four. 
I think this card's good if you get her as a saga. If not, it's kind of, maybe it's great. I don't know. I kind of like Coalition Relic. It is kind of boring. It's kind of dirtily. It reminds me of Staff of Domination. I do like Coalition Relic. I think I like Coalition Relic better than Click. Yeah, all right. That was that was a real uh, a real nail biter pick there. I'm gonna take Inkwell in case we get Tinker because the only other card here is Damnation. Damn, <laughs> that's not Damnation, and. I don't see us being double black, and I also don't see us being double white, so I'd rather just have this in case we randomly fall into Thank a tinker. You. Oh, man, Theo with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome. Caught the stream live and got to sub. You have all my appreciation. All of it. There's none left. Sorry, guys. Also, I... <clears throat> I want to mention that I think I have possibly the best comment section on YouTube. <laughs> like every time I upload, I upload a video, like I actually, it makes me wonder, I'm going to take this to learn Academy because that's also extremely late and we already have two artifacts. So it makes me wonder, um, what you guys see in my content because I'm pretty sure you're all funnier than I am. I don't know. came back don't care about tang yeah i'll just take the goal we have a coalition relic we also have a talarian academy so you know you don't have high expectations so it's always good man perfect you sound like my parents so that's good riftwing cloud skate came back one of the cards I was debating taking. Everflowing Chalice is nice too, but I, I'd rather take a Riftwing, which I'm, I'm going to be happy every time I play it, as opposed to an Everflowing Chalice, which is honestly just kind of awkward sometimes. I think Ashen Rider, just because I think it's the strongest... It's my dog's birthday. His name is Frankie. Just saying, can you please tell Frankie to have a happy birthday for me and give him or her lots of pets? <laughs> yeah, your comment section gives us a chance to show off without the threat of you overshadowing us. Yeah, that's true. I'm really glad I can give you guys all a platform. Oh man, the Facebook comments on my posts. Sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not. Oh man, for a conic disciple, I appreciate you saying so, buddy. <laughs> Should have grabbed Kolagon's command to hate. Yeah, well, the the thing was I had Kolagon's command last time as well, so if I don't have it, they won't either. And that's just how that works. Crits. Like an open mic night. Wow. Blade hold. I'll just take the hero blade hold. I'm really curious what our last pick's gonna be, I'll be honest with you. This is a pretty good 10 cards. Not bad. Yeah, Lotus in fact two would be good. I wouldn't even crack it just because I want the extra mana from my Talarian Academy. So it would basically be like a, a Dark Steel Ingot. Oh man, it's Hive. A Jasper right now.
I mean, I just mean with card selection, not with what we're looking at. Who are white, not black? I, I, I would disagree. I, I would take Bitter Blossom and Demonic Tutor over Mana Tithe and Hero of Lighthold, especially with Sword of Fire and Ice. And this is these are both single black, whereas this is a double white card. So definitely, definitely more white in my heart than than black here. It's like an ancestral recall. I'm not going to be greedy about it. This pack is really taking its time. Am I still live? <laughs> Are we still here? I don't know what's going on with Twitch servers or my internet connection recently, but I've dropped to zero frames pretty significantly in most streams. And it's kind of impressive. Oh, the wrong ancestral. Another tutor, though. No artifacts either. Literal zero artifacts. I like Ashiok, but I think I just like Counterspell more in a deck like this. Oh, we also have Pestermite. That's... I think old Frank would have snapped this up, but I think new Frank's going to take this counter spell. Because I think I'm hoping to draw something, not draw, open something like uh, Snapcaster Mage, and I think counter spell just makes Snapcaster Mage much, much better. It also is possible that uh, Ashiok wheels. Probably get past a soul ring, I bet. That's probably easy. What could go wrong? I took my crown off for the rat train. I don't even know what that means. Thank you. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> uh, I like a Glenelinger Archmage here. And that's good because there's literally nothing else in this pack that I could see taking. So I'll take it. Chat logo has a train. It was a crown. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I can change it back. Watch. It's not a... You don't have to show off for us. It's okay. We believe you. the arcane proxy it's also it gets our demonic tutor back as well which is kind of you know what I, I shit all over this guy in the last draft i what if i take the course of portal and this wheels yeah your crown's back i, I mean i like I, I just like the train better i'm gonna take course of portal and i'm gonna i bet this i bet this little shitter wheels I just don't think it's very good. 
Time Twister and Echo in the same pack. That's kind of funny. I'm going to take Metal Worker here. Because that kind of... That kind of leaves me a little bit excited. We're running, we're, we're, we're running shy on the early artifacts, but you know what? There's still time. How much do we have to donate for you to go back to streaming full time? I, I don't know. So it's funny because like I've been thinking about that a lot. And like the money, like the salary I was making working full time versus the salary, like I call it a salary, but the money I made work when I was just streaming and making content. They're not really close. <laughs> I think it's just force of will here. I mean, the problem is this is very enjoyable. Like, I like doing it. I love interacting with you guys. There is, like, a sweet dopamine hit every time you guys do a sub or a follow or a, or a donation or something like that. You know, like, obviously it feels good. Because it's like if you're working a job, it kind of feels like you're getting a bonus. Because you can't expect any of the money. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no security, basically, right? So, like, anytime someone chooses to support it means that much more because it's like, okay, cool. Like I didn't know that was going to be there. You know what I mean? So it's like there, I think there's a stronger, like more visceral feeling towards the income that comes in through streaming and content creation. But we would have gotten the Urza Saga. That's neat. I'm going to take this Orzhov Signet though. It's black. <clears throat> it's a Signet. But think of the dopamine hit that comes with a good sound. That's true. Getting paid twice a month uh, at a significant rate was probably incomparable. I'll be honest with you guys. That being said, like I do plan on streaming pretty regularly, at least until I get a new get a new job. You definitely seem less burnt out on streaming than when you stop streaming. I love your stream, but I hope it can be balanced. That's the thing, right? Like, I, I feel like I'm streaming when I want to and not... It's also much different because, like, streaming when you want to rather than streaming because you literally have to are very, very different feels. Mishra's Workshop. I'm going to take the workshop. We got a Tolarian Academy. I mean, one, two, three, four. We have five, six artifacts so far. Out of 16 cards, that's over 30%. Sorry, I didn't mean to math flex on you guys. You could use job money to sub and donate to yourself. Infinite dopamine. That's amazing. It's like the gift that keeps on giving, you know? What we got here? Anything good? Memory Deluge is good. I like a a memory deluge. It's too bad it's too bad Time Walk isn't an instant artifact, because then we can just keep putting it on top with this guy. Uh, let's take a deluge. I don't know what our deck is doing or how it's winning. I'm glad we got one more pack after this though. I think this actually looks very good for pack two. After this draft portion, I'm going to go grab a drink. I left my drink upstairs, and I got sad. Gamma set, what up, dude? It's a good gift. Glad to be here, buddy. Thank you for saying so. Needs Thousand Year Storm. A true Kerwood Comet, if there ever was one. Yeah, I'll just take an Ancestral Vision. It's not the... Oh, I think the next pack would have the Arcane Proxy in it. Well, we have Bitter Blossom. That's a win condition. We have... We could put Inkwell Leviathan in pretty easily with both uh, Misha's Workshop, Talarian Academy, and Metalworker. Worker. 
obviously we're selfish because we love you. Even if you were to get a job, which we would we would love, just seeing you stream a couple times a week would be awesome. I, I actually think I should um, try to fit that in. I, I think I didn't want to before because I was just too burnt out. And like, I think it's also like once you take a break, it's hard to come back and be like, well, is everything going to be the same? Like, you know, am I going to enjoy it as much? What's the, what's the, I didn't want to feel like a deadbeat dad, you know, who left and then <laughs> comes back years later and he's like, hey kids, I finally found my cigarettes. You know, like Michael B's dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's an artifact, too. So, like, kind of the best we could ask for, to be quite honest. Man, I mean, if me and Rob could do set reviews again, that would be super cool. I actually thought about that recently. And, like, on one hand, I would love to just do commentary on cards and sets. On the other hand, I don't play a ton of Constructed these days. So I'm, like, not super in touch with, like, metagames and whatnots. I'll take this Lion's Eye Diamond. So it's really hard to be like, this card's really good. It can fit into X deck or it's going to do Y or whatever. Um, and similarly, I, like, I don't play Commander, so it's hard to be like, it was a cool Commander card, you know? Um, Proxy the bat. I'll take the Satori Umazawa and just put him straight in the sideboard. Sure, that sounds great. Why is this in here? I guess it's like I don't. Each creature in your hand has an ninjutsu. Whenever you activate a ninjutsu, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand. It just doesn't seem the Vintage Cube is built for dirtily ninjutsu abilities. I don't know. Am I crazy? Is it kind of like a... I mean, the the problem with ninjutsu is that like you're not. You don't get the attack trigger. You know what I mean? Like, Through the Breach lets you, okay, I attack with an Emrakul or an Ulamog. I get the attack trigger. I get the Annihilate. I get the Exile. I get the Exile 20 cards of your library. With Ninjutsu, the creature is already announced as attacking. And it's coming into play tapped and attacking. So it's like not... You're not getting the benefit. You're just attacking with it. You're just getting a big body. Right, it's cool with Blightsteel and nothing else. Because like you're just missing those triggers. I watched this channel for the same reason I watched the Netflix Witcher series. Bad content. Super sexy lead actor. Wow. That's actually hilarious. Battle Ball is a good win con. I think Jitte might be better with Bitter Blossom. Do we have anything we can get with Trinket Mage yet? It's not looking great. I like Polluted Delta as well. I might just take Polluted Delta to be honest. I'd rather have at least one land and, and, and with the hope of getting like watery grave or underground sea. Sign that's pretty good. Uh yeah, let's take an Azorius Sign Signore. Signore. It's a library of Alexandria. That's a thing, I guess. The alternative is a repeal. Hangerback Walker is a nice way to dump mana. Hmm. Could just take Hangerback Walker. It's also good with equipment. Oh, we can also get it with Trinket Mage. Yeah, that's good. Let's take that guy. Dark Slick Shores? That seems like a fairly easy pick given this pack. And I'll leave them black and blue like the Dark Slick Shores. Titan, ah, Sundering Titan could actually be great here. It's also a card we don't mind having with Metalworker in hand. Or don't mind having in hand with Metalworker, rather. Um, Grave Titan's good, but Double Black is a little bit not ideal. Let's put the Inkwell in here, too. This is 23. 
And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artifacts. Not terrible. We have Dark Slick Delta Academy Workshop as far as lands go. Riftwing, you're more of a two drop, which makes our curve a little better. You're more of a three drop. Winter Orb is interesting. Huh. I think Winter Orbing. I'm here for the chicken Sunday. Who isn't? You know what I mean? Who isn't? Oh, Tezzeret actually seems pretty decent here. Hmm. Fascinating. I mean, I'll just take Tezzeret. Firecast our second spell. It connives. Sure. So Scofasco, thank you for saying so, buddy. I'll take the I'll take the shredder. I don't really care about the miscalculation, really. hockey mtg nerd girl what up always a pleasure my friend always a pleasure how many picks do we have left 26 plus 12 quite a few <laughs> i was like did did we stall out and die has the magic died Mere Battle Sphere comes back. Wow. Also, this Karn should not be here, right? Mere Battle Sphere. Eh. It's better with Workshop, Academy, and Metalworker. Unfortunately, Karn is not an artifact. Although it might be pretty cool if Karn was a an artifact planeswalker. I could live that life. Be a little easier to deal with in uh in scary decks like Tron. When will you be available for some steps? I'm available for steps at any point in time. I still have one from Oral to do. But the funny thing is about Oral's step was that he literally uh, said, let me see. Oral's stipulation was draft things to celebrate your return, enter the battlefield effects, Sultai or Flicker or whatever. Welcome back. <laughs> the or, I feel like the or whatever really leaves it open to interpretation there. Um, I, you know what? Probe never tempts me. I, I, I'm not that guy. I'm not the storm guy. So, so this, those like random storm guards don't really do anything for me. Um, I am, however, the person who like, when I get a good strategy, like a Misha's workshop, Talarian Academy, metal worker kind of strategy, if that starts coming together, I just want to ride that till the end of the earth. So you're saying this draft is that stuff. Yeah, basically we did whatever I think. No. I'll, I'll definitely abide by the initial enter the battlefield effects, Sultai or Flicker. Um, but it was just funny that he, he said, or whatever, because then it's like, oh. So you're really, really not too concerned with the content here. Not the storm guy, still hurts my... Yeah, there are literal, an infinite, infinite, an infinite, infinite number of, of streamers that will draft storm for you if that's what you want. I'm just not one of them. But I'll, I'll do it if, it if I get the good Storm deck. If I get, like, the nut Storm deck and I feel it coming together, I'll still do it. I'm just not going to chase it. I just don't need it, you know? And then Kerwit does a stipulation where it's like, hey, make sure you draft Thousand Year Storm. And it doesn't show up for seven drafts. And then the one time I get it, it's like, I have nothing to support it. So, you know, 
Good times. I, I don't know if I made my name drafting salt high. I did. I did. Um, I mean, I, I kind of self-proclaimed myself as a huge Saltai fan, and then I kind of leaned towards Saltai things in Magic in general, like constructed decks. I do tend to end up in Saltai colors a lot, but that's just because I think the Timmy in me brings me towards green cards, cool big fat green idiots like Elder Gargaroth and Thrag Tusk and, you know, Crater Hoof Behemoth. But like the competitive spiky part of me is 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 drawn more towards black and blue cards like ancestral recall, and things like that. So it's really this like, it's really the like the balance of my two. My two magic desires merging. There's a significant amount of solid white cards in the sideboard: Stoneforge, Elite Spellbinder, Vryn Wing Mare, Hero of Bladehold, Wandering Emperor, Bane Slayer. And even a Caracas for funsies. So we need three cuts. Well. That is a lot. Oh my god, what up, bread? Bought an Iconjo Castle from the LGS I worked at a while back on TCG Play. I wrote Rat Train on the back of the envelope. I don't even think I saw that, but that sounds hilarious. A lot of people do write me little notes when I when I order cards from them on like TCG Player. Which is super cool. If you ever want to do that, feel free. I was like, never heard of this guy. You started playing Sultai and White entered the battlefield stuff, and I suddenly knew you were destined for greatness. Well, to be fair, the, the deck I had somebody the Pro Tour with did have black, blue, and green cards in it, along with Eldrazi, so. Brett, I'm really glad you're alive, buddy. I missed you. Twitch drafts are super fun. As long, I like, they're super fun when people don't ruin them. I hate to say it. I, I just think people, like, sometimes you're gonna, I'm gonna have, like, yeah, we're gonna have a blue-white deck, and someone's gonna be, like, take the lightning bolt and we have literally no red fixing whatsoever and we can't do anything with it but like then we have to take it and like there were times where i would like kind of veto it i'd be like oh, i don't want to do that i think it ruins because i think it ruins the experience for everyone else you know what i mean <sighs> brett with the five gifted subs it's like nothing it's like no time has passed at thank all. you man you guys are wonderful I first found Frank during PTL Drowsy Winter. That's where I found myself. Thank you. You give chat too much credit for a chat draft. Well, I, I think a lot of, I think, I think my Thank chat is honestly you. a lot more civilized than most chats. Thank you. Not more, more than most, but like, it's one of the more civilized chats. And I, I really appreciate you guys for that. I have no idea how I ended up here. <laughs> Yeah, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. My first experience was using his black green zombie pod standard list to smash a game. That sounds amazing. If you get at least one or two videos, that's super important. But I think your chat can get a feel for what you like. If you get at least one. Nick Joseph, I don't actually know what you mean by that. Okay. I don't think we're... God, do we just cut Golos? Like, I don't think we're going to be activating. So this could provide white. This could provide white as well. So we have white, blue, black taken care of. Get out of here. Coercive portal, or coalition relic. We could tap it, remove the counter for green, and then activate it for red. So if we have one signet, one coalition relic, we could activate Golos. Trigger Mage is a pretty easy cut. I, I liked it because it got Hangerback Walker, but I don't think I actually care about that very much. I also honestly don't care about Ledger Shredder. I mean, it's a cool card, but it doesn't really do much for us. Uh, if you get at least one or two vetoes, that's super important. I agree. Uh, I think having vetoes for the Twitch drafts is extremely important. That's a, that's an, that's a very good point. 
because for, for me to be able to be like, no, we're not going to take natural order in our mono blue deck. Like it's, you know, it's kind of relevant. Uh, I think Inkwell wins you games where you probably shouldn't win otherwise. Also, yeah, I think Golas is just a 3-5 that tutors for one of our lands is actually pretty good. And we probably will just play Caracas for the free wins. I would have loved an Underground River, but... Here we are. Underground Sea? Underground Sea is what I meant. Oh my god, Quacker2000. Quacker2000, I wished you a happy birthday. And you didn't respond to me. And it really hurt my feelings a little bit. It was your birthday and I texted you and I was like... Yo, Cosme, happy birthday, bro. And you were like, you ghosted me. And you know what? I cried. I have one cut to make here. Is it Force of Will? I don't know. Force of Will is good, good protection. You ever been, you ever protected yourself with a Force of Will? Feels good. What's your What's Warb doing for us? I mean, I don't know. You ever you ever tapped down all your opponent's lands and then untapped only your Talarian Academy? It's pretty good. Plus, we have Signet, Signet, Metalworker, Coalition Relic that are going to untap every turn. Oh, man. He responded. He said, I missed this. I was likely drunk. Apologies. <laughs> Quacker 2000. All is forgiven. Hey, it was your birthday, buddy. You're You're allowed... You're allowed to 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 miss a text message on your birthday. Totally, totally understandable. I kind of want to cut Memory Deluge or Ancestral. Is it the Deluge? I like Ancestral because it costs one. I I don't like Deluge because it's very expensive in one of our lands as Amisha's Workshop. Oh my god, can you cast it when it's your guys' instant treasure card with mana value less than or equal to Arcane Proxy's power? I, I need to figure out if we can do that. Arcane Proxy Ancestral. I don't know if I can. I, I'm suspicious of this. Yes, you can. It works. Mana value equals zero. You cast, I know you cast without paying, but like sometimes it's like, it's like Urza's Saga is kind of weird because Urza's Saga, you can't actually get artifact lands because they also have, they have no casting cost. They have no mana value, right? So, um, let me look up Urza's Saga. I want to see the difference here. Search your library for an artifact. Okay. Okay. Urza's. Urza Saga specifically says, search your library for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one. This does not have a mana cost of zero specifically. It just has a mana value of zero. So now I'm excited and I want to keep Ancestral Vision even more because of this guy. So that seems good. I'm excited. We're having a good time. <sighs> 10 and 2. It's like you gotta, it's gotta keep your hands there when you're driving, you know? One, two, three, four, five, and then 12. Yeah, that's seven. So this for blue sources is 10, 11, 12, 13. For black, we have four sources with only two black cards and a signet and a coalition relic. That actually seems fine for six black sources. Seems good. So this is probably the deck I'm most excited for. That, you know, at this, in this, uh, in this vintage cube season, <laughs> which means we will, we will either one, two or oh three, I think, because it looks really good. Transition to blue control against broken decks. I guess I could. I could bring in Vryn Wingmare, Elise Bellbinder, Manatai. We even could bring in Stoneforge for this sort of fire and ice. 
thank you. Shua Garner. What up, Mr. Garner? Welcome back, my dude. I just shaved my beard. I appear to be a teenager. <laughs> Who knew? According to Reddit, it does cast a spent card. That seems insane. See, that is one. Wow, that's the first. Um, That's the first. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Distinction between it and Snapcaster that, that I think it comes ahead on. Because now I'm thinking of all the free spells that you can cast with this. Thank you. So you could also talk, you could also cast Living Death with it, right? Stream once the cube goes away. That's a good question. What would you guys like me to stream when the cube goes away? Did I say living death? I meant living end, obviously. I always get those confused. It's funny because I don't get Ancestral Recall and Ancestral Vision confused. So obviously that's... I don't get Balance and Restore Balance confused. Again, that'd be pretty easy. Living death and living end I get confused, though. Grandpa doesn't doesn't like it. Um, We'll keep it in the hopes that we draw one more land. But even if we don't, we have a land drop. So that's something, you know? You know? Oh, Kara Kong with the bits. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? I feel like I've pronounced it that way for years, and I just kind of hope. How's life? You stream more regularly these days? Am I completely missed? And I completely missed the. Um, I've streamed a little more regularly as of the past like two weeks, and that's only because I got laid off in mid December. So. Yeah. Yeah, good times. Can I steal that? Can I get a second land? I'm having a good time. <laughs> but he did not have good luck or have fun. Okie dokie. This is a really anything anything they can do, I can do better situation. Except they're doing it better. I kind of time walk. I kind of want to just time walk here and hope to hit one more land and then play Coalition Relic. Oh, man. See, now we're doing okay. See, now I'm just tempted to actually play Winter Orb here. If we Winter Orb, what does that do? Yeah, I literally got a hoodie yesterday from Scopely that said, hey, congratulations for a great 2022. Really looking forward to see what 2023 brings us. And I was like, good luck. <laughs> Hope you guys do well. Uh... Yeah, Cosme, I hope so, buddy. Okay, so if we play Winter Orb, they untap these two. They still got this guy. Alternatively, we get one, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. If we play Winter Orb, we get to untap one, two, and then we get one, two, three mana. I think I'll just stick with the. the no I mean, I still it was a, it was a free hoodie. I, I Scopely was great to me while I was there. Like I have no issues with them as a company. Um, oh, I like Tutor that turn. We could have gotten like a Misha's Workshop. I think we can still do that. Scopely's still making big mistakes on Marvel Strike Force. Well, I don't know about all that. What are you getting here? Skull Clamp? Everflowing Chalice. You got it. So we can go use the black and tap this for Demonic Tutor. And then we have one, two, three, four. Play Workshop for three. And then play Battle Sphere. That seems good. But. You know, I'm no expert. Yield until the next end step. I will not block. Do you have an NDA for your project? I definitely do. Definitely do. 
Um, it, it was put on hold anyway, so it's not like it's not like they're still working on it without me. Like the entire team got laid off, um, which sucks for everyone involved. But you know, <laughs> that's game design. Uh, let's get. Can we cast a treachery? One, two, three, four. No. I'll get the workshop because we have lots of good cards in here. Two, one, two, three. I'm, am I crazy? Nope. Okay. Love it. Yeah, that is just tech in general. They were like, it's funny because as soon as we got laid off, like I went on LinkedIn, I updated my LinkedIn, I, I put looking for work, you know, I'm open to hire or whatever. Um, and there were so many people who were like, yep, I was part of the Facebook layoffs. I was part of the Google layoffs, like all kinds of layoffs, like thousands and thousands of people. It sucks. And like, it's also, it's also sad. Like one of the things I keep mentioning is that like, it sucks because like the thing we've worked on for two years, the project we put so much time and effort into, like it's gone now, you know, like, I mean, like there were characters and ideas and abilities that we were working on every day for months and months Shut up and, take my money. and then it's just gone, you know, dude, sorry to hear that. What a shitty time to have that happen. Also, welcome back. I guess I wish it was under. Yeah, Josh. Oh man. Good to see you, buddy. Really appreciate it. My dude. So, one, one, four, five, six, six, seventy nine, tell them it's what we have 13 mana, 14 with a land. So interesting. We can play Signet, Signet. These cost one because we just net it over here. Yes, I did. I updated the, the quality of the stream to 1440p, and I also have a 4K webcam, so you guys are getting full definition. On my beautiful visage. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six. So what if we go, what if we just do this? I go Signet. They have six cards in hand. That's so many, dude. Actually, I kind of want to keep up Counterspell here, right? Four, five, six, seven. This makes seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have three extra mana, so I can actually do this. Sure. Oh, that's actually too much. <laughs> All right, well, he overpaid. It's my inkwell and I want it now. Man, I remember when we were way behind this game and now they're gonna do this and we're gonna do this. And then we're going to resolve it. Play this. Attack with this guy, you know? Island walk, huh? You got any islands? Looks like you do. And Misha's Workshop and Talarian Academy. Those are cards. Can you upgrade my monitor too so I can appreciate the 1440p? Uh, uh, these requests are getting a little awkward. Uh, Signet's... Are they free? They net one and then they... I guess they are free, yeah. Because they net one themselves and then you also have Talarian Academy. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I care about that. But I probably will. I'm sure I will. Big Uggs. Oh, you're just going to activate that guy? Sure. <laughs> Solid. Beautiful. Solid and beautiful. Goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Our board looks better. Hers is good, but we're good, too. Let's uh, 
charge it, charge it up. Thanks for giving us the giving me the heads up on the resolution. I just went and lowered it because I couldn't handle the true face of a poor. Yeah, I appreciate that. I understand it's a lot to take in sometimes. Uh, what are we gonna do? Blue? Sure. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Cause it's just going to the course of portal, you know? Because next turn, I feel like we'll need two cards, you know? What if they double block with these two? Is that a thing we care about? Seven. One, two, three. I'm keeping one back. I just want to put them to enough that it's a two-turn clock, and they don't block. Oh. We just won. Okay. What? Wait, what? just happened they just didn't block the did they just did they concede I don't know what happened did they, they took the damage because it said negative one did they just concede no they didn't concede because it said they were negative one so they took it hmm I'm fascinated Pretty boy I think winter orb was probably bad here um, they were, but they could have gotten an extra turn out of it. You know, isn't that, isn't that the most important part? The extra turn. <laughs> yeah. Mono blue does not have any outs tank. Well, so this is pretty good. I'll keep it. Papa likes. Okay. Yes, the the metal worker has gotten better. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I'm cracking this now because I think we're actually pretty good on lands and things and just get it out of the way, you know? I don't think we have any, any effects where like I put cards back and want to shuffle them, so Wow, this is a this is a mirror match for the ages. Now we get to keep up mana ma uh, counter spell and mana drain, which we have. We have both of those. We don't have either of those. We have counter spell, but it's not in our hand, you know. So I'm just lying. Fine. Oh. Yeah, they changed their mind. Six consecrated sphinx. That's scary. Oh, that's worse. That's unfortunate. No, don't like that. Yep. I mean, I kind of just want a demonic tutor for like a Misha's workshop here. Next turn, we're looking at one. This is, we're going to tap this later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 11 mana. Do we even need it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess so. It makes me wish we didn't play the island, though. Now I feel silly because we could have gone Misha's Workshop, cast Fire and Ice, and then next turn, Battle Sphere into Equip. Yeah, I think playing the sword here is actually better because it's just better mana use, so. Yeah, we could also just find Counterspell, but we don't have the mana for Inkwell yet. Sure, whatever that 
ExpressVPN sponsorship in the stream is it's not it's not current. Let's just get a blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually do have enough for Inkwell. We could demonic tutor bitter blossom. Like get counter spell. Oh, we can get force of will, but that does not. We can get force of will just play mere battle sphere, actually. I don't hate that. I mean, I'm pretty sure we are just getting demonic tutor, or we're just demonic tutoring here for something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we still have seven. So let's see what our options are. If they counter this, we're just going to slam a battle sphere. That's fine. But we know they have Cryptic Command in their deck. We can so so we can actually counter spear and battle sphere. Counter spell and battle sphere. We just don't have the counter spell in hand, so we'd have to get it with the tutor, which then prices out of the amount of mana that we need. Um I also don't hate Glenalendra. Yeah, they can't cast Cryptic, right? So I'm just going through what they might have, but don't currently. Is it just Force of Will? Battle Boy himself. I like this. We get to keep up Force of Will. Uh, next turn, we get to equip Sword of Fire and Ice to something. What are you? Oh, they're just putting. I was like, "What are you? Are you shooting something? What's going on?" I'm confused. Four, five, six, seven. They have eight mana, so they can kill three of my my mere boys, my mere babies. So we get to keep up Force of Will. We can even hard cast that now, which is great. And we can just tap... <laughs> uh, we can just tap our Talarian Academy to... Cast a force of will and then some. I cannot see the incentive of leaving any of these guys behind when they can just kill them all, so. Yeah, if I was them, I've actually, I actually would have shot once and then, are they just going to take it? No, they got a block, right? Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't want to cast the Inkwell here because if we do that, we have no way to protect it and they have literally eight mana up. So, like, I don't want to just throw an Inkwell Leviathan into to the Abyss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, nine, then we have one, two, three, four. Maybe we would have had enough, actually. But then we couldn't equip, and I wanted to equip, so. But now they're out of a... So this is what one, two, three, four, five. Like this is just hard cast force of will. This is. 
actually not sure. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's a thing. Ugh, gross. Oh, that's disgusting. I like this a lot. Because now they're tapped out. They basically just didn't tap these. So that's cool. And now I just get to recast that. Hmm. And the inkwell. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Seems good. All right. Yeah, that worked out well. I didn't think it would, but here we are. Crew. Oh, this is leaving regrets. Yeah, I mean, we have like seven mana up and three cards, and then they just run a time spiral into it with no way to keep counterspell mana up so i mean i would have paid all my mana and then floated two blue right if you're if you're not gonna if you're just gonna concede after but instead they like tapped out in such a way that like they have no extra mana at all so now i know to just counter the time spiral um the kraken beat the oilers like <laughs> too yeah everybody knows that oh Seems like a wiener. We have yet to get Ancestral Vision, Arcane Proxy. We have yet to get... I guess we got Time Walk in game one and used it to colossal effect just to hit another land drop. It was basically an explore. Very exciting for everyone involved. Why is DMR going to be so awesome to draft? I'm actually really excited about uh, Dominaria Mastered, and if they bring that to Magic Online, I'll probably draft it. When does it come out? What's the release date for that? Dude, I'm really frustrated that all these cool Magic products are releasing, like, right after I get laid off and I'm in the midst of finding a new job. One thirteen. So next week? Next Friday? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Goodness gracious. That's wild. Just go into debt for MTG. Wouldn't be the first time. Let's see if this gets countered. What do you guys think? Yes, of course, idiot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa? Wow. They got a Colagon's command. <laughs> I'm in danger. Okie dokie. Yep, cool. <laughs> it's okay, they didn't counter it because they had other things they wanted to do. What are we discarding here? Wait, what? Oh, they discarded their own Ashen Rider. Well, that's cool. Let's do this. My phone case is greasy. Hmm. Well, all right then. This has been another Kerwood phone case update. Ah, I see. No blue cards, huh? Seems good. I wonder if they just get rid of the Winter World, though. That's okay. It's not great. It's okay and not great. Can I get... Can 
I need a land and a treachery. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. <laughs> Tricked him. Maybe just keep up force of will here. I don't think Sword of Fire and Ice on board is doing us any favors. Plus, if we draw that metal worker, you know? Dang. Kill until the instant. Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. I wonder if I let that resolve. Probably not, right? Giving them a seven card seems rough, but we don't really have a plan here. They draw five, we draw three, but our hand kind of sucks. But if we draw Misha's Workshop, it's actually very good, right? Do we have a plan with the new seven? I can't say. I don't know what the new seven are. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we could draw Treachery. We could draw uh, Counterspell. We could draw... Misha's Workshop to get Sundering Titan to kill their three of their lands. Yeah, I'm going to let it happen. I don't foresee this hand like doing us any favors. Any order's fine. I don't care about that. See, now we get the treachery and the workshop. But I guess workshop was uh, not really relevant once we hit. Can we treachery and then one, two, three? Can we work tap workshop treachery? Oh yeah, this might actually might be really good. If they didn't draw like a counter spell. Oh, they drove into the end click. How nice. That's unfortunate. Wow. Would have been able to go workshop, tap the workshop, untap it as one of our lands with treachery. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Played Leviathan and stole on their Ashen Rider. Oh, they took the they they took the treachery. What can we get with demonic tutor? Misha's workshop? <laughs> huh. Fascinating. No, we got the workshop. We could get the treachery, rather. That's what I meant. We can't actually cast Inkwell right now because it costs nine. We only have eight. Tezzeret. This is why you should screenshot your decks, kids. We can get... Where's our Winter Orb? Oh, it's exiled with this guy. That would have been sick, right? Let's see what our options are. It might just be grabbed... Oh, maybe it's Time Walk. Huh. Oh, time walk. That seems okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana now. We can just play Inkwell Leviathan. We could play Tezzeret. Doesn't do much. I think we just play Inkwell. And then the race is on. I don't know if this is great. Good call. Yeah, so nothing great that would really benefit us here so they get to hit us down to six it's not great 
Okay. Well, that's a thing. Our best draw is actually Arcane Proxy. That's actually interesting. It doesn't win us the game, unfortunately. It just lets us put them to one. So we kind of want them to activate Ancient Tomb, and then we hit Arcane Proxy. And unfortunately, I cannot search for an Arcane Proxy with uh, a value of three. And it also wouldn't trigger because I wouldn't be casting it. Oh, Chris, Chris literally sent me a screenshot of my deck. What a champion. What an absolute. <laughs> they didn't attack, but I can't, bl they, I can't block these guys. Oh, wow. That's really good. Holy schmoly. Sh and they have nothing to, oh my God, do we just win the game here? Come on. have this oh i can how convenient one two three four five i can't actually hmm i wonder what to do here actually let's go what can I get? Untap up to two artifacts. Don't think that's relevant. Let's go to the videotape here. Uh, I think we just get sword. Untapping artifacts doesn't seem super exciting. So we'll just go to one. There's our sword. Is it in the graveyard? Ah, we're not getting sword. Just kidding. Just get coalition relic then. That's not a pretty good. Uh, ultimate this guy but I mean we have one at the time we had like one artifact that would be a 5-5 five, five. this is already a 3-3 three, three. we wouldn't have this in play and this would also become a 5-5 five, five, which is worse than so I mean we could have ultimated but it's probably just worse than not ultimating And they have to kill me this turn and also not take one and also deal with Inkwell. Those are the things we they couldn't do it. They have failed. Alright. So they got a whole graveyard full of full of nonsense here, huh? Kinda wish we had that relic of progenitus. That would be cool. Because none of these actually do anything against that kind of nonsense. Yeah, I remember when, I, I, I don't know who it was, but they were like, I don't like Inkwell. I think it's unexciting. And I'm like, if you just cast this card, you just win the game. Perhaps you've heard of it. Interesting. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Where does that leave me? I'll keep it. It's got a Misha's Workshop and a Force of Will and a first turn Signet. Any artifact spell, we're doing great. So, of course, we're going to draw... What was the worst thing we could draw? Riftwing Cladscape. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Katie just sent me a funny message. I'm going to yield till the next end step. Uh, I agree they punted by not racing, but I mean, they would have gotten one attack in and then we would have been able to block their... I don't think I don't think the game was a foregone conclusion. I don't think they would have won the race because we drew treachery, right? So, I mean, blue island. Four five. There's a lot of mana, and they're not doing anything. So that's that's in, that's interesting. And we're almost at a point where we can just hard cast Force of Will because we don't have enough blue cards. They're gonna Colagon's command here. That sounds good. This card a card deal, absolute deal. <laughs> you got it. Jokes on you, buddy. I didn't need it. So your hand was all lands? Always was. So they got... I don't know what they got rid of, actually. Oh, cool. Forcible. Forcible time. Let's live the dream. Got it. Take a gander. Apparently there were some patch and bug notes for uh, Marvel Snap. I'm just like, someone posted the translation, so I'm trying to save them. Oh boy. <laughs> They'll never guess that this was... So, if I let them have this... They get a 3-3, three, three, and we get a new card. If we counter this, we're basically saying the new card is worth less than them having a 3-3. Three, three. So I think I'm just going to give it to them. Because drawing a new card here could be infinitely better. The new card has to be better than a Vendillion click. And it was. Do we take the Vendillion click? That's the question. You know what? I think I'm going to save this. I don't think it's worth killing a Vendillion click. And by killing, I mean taking. So... Is it going to be Ashen Rider? That's fine. Yeah, you got it. This is not as exciting as I thought it would be. It's your boy. 
well. Let's see. Caracas is decent. I think it's just Talarian Academy. We don't have any ramp right now, and like that gives us two. Caracas can bounce Vendillion Click, but is that really what we want to be doing? I guess we could have bounced our own Golos and recast it. Yeah, and that's actually see. This is why this is why I leave the, the good plays to you guys. Mike is occasionally going quiet. Is it just you? Interesting. See, I'd much rather take this seven seven. See, this is why we waited. That's a good. That's a good deal. Oh, what up? No beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Now this one. Thank you. One, two. Two, four. Seems good. I feel like we're in okay shape, but what do I know? Ponder. That's a desperation ponder if I ever saw one. I gotta find an answer quick. Necromancy on that guy. Sure, you're gonna get rid of treachery. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Must be nice, as the kids say. So I think we're dead. Short of being able to redraw the exiled treachery. That would have been, oh man, that would have been cool if we weren't so far behind. One, two, three, four. We could have literally killed five lands, right? We go mountain here. Plains here, forest here, island here, swamp here. Man, Sundering Titan seems good in this matchup. I don't like Deluge against them, to be honest. I don't like Tezzeret. I don't think he's doing anything. Let's take him out. He's got to go. Drawing two cards seems much better than just randomly. Finding an artifact. Maybe I might actually just make that change permanently. This hand looks great. I'll keep it. It's not exciting, but I think it's good. We just don't have enough great artifacts to pressure with this. I guess it's fine if you have like two signets and a coalition relic or something and we're just trying to get through, but I, I don't feel like these, uh, those sound effects have been in Magic Online since literally the beginning for 20 years. Those sound effects have always been here. Um,
I feel like it might just be that guy. Said MTGA, not MTGO. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I remember, so back in the day, one of my favorite memories of Magic Online was they had this lobby that you entered when you want to join an event. And you can see how many people were at a table. You can see what their avatars were. Like, they would have Birds of Paradise playing. And, like, hold on, let me see. I'm going to look it up. It was, like, and you could hear claps and, like, applause when people were winning. And it was so, it was such a cool little, like, it looked like this. Like, there's this lobby area, and you can see, like, here's Ernum Dijin, Ernum Jin. There's Grinning Demon. And, like, they would just be sitting at these tables. So you could be like, oh, these people are out. These people are still playing. And, like, whenever someone won or lost, like, you would hear, like, cheering. And it was, it was really cool. I don't know. It, it's, it just brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. Still a better version than this one. Um, just going to pass here. We can keep Counterspell up and activate Hanger Back Walker. Unfortunately, they did probe us, so they know we have it. But that's okay. Shin Relic, eh? I might actually wait a turn to cast that. And the reason being, if they are able to counter it somehow, then we don't have counterspell mana up, so then they can do it all. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Next turn we can play Relic, keep up counterspell. Still activate this guy. Just countering this. Like, it seems very good. I don't know what they're going to try to do here instead, but... Like, none of the things they do from hand have been that scary. He spoke too soon. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's nice. Oh, it gets exiled. How oh, wonderful. Seems good. And I'm sure they have a necromancy for it next turn. Yeah, I mean, if they have it, they have it. What could possibly go wrong? Not ideal. Not great, Bob. So I think we just demonic tutor for force of will here to keep us alive. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, please feel free to subscribe or follow on Twitch. Would be great. Coming from your laid off friend, Frank. Like Zoom, huh? Fascinating. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um... Gonna crack that? Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just say blue. Do this. I guess we can keep the shields up, right? We don't actually have to cast it now. I think we just didn't have a land, so I'm like, well, if I hit a land here, I can cast it. Oh, for crying out loud. I don't actually know what this is going to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, darn. The Sacrifice Creature discards a card and loses three life. Okie dokie. Is this going to do anything, actually? No, they're going to make us get rid of two cards, right? So I'm just going to get rid of Islands here, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's good. That's good. Is that better? I don't even know. I actually have no idea if that's better or not. I literally, we haven't seen this in three games, so I don't know. Yep, two islands. You got it. It gets two islands out of our deck. They've also drawn two cards, right? Jesus, crying out loud. That card's amazing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we're at one. <laughs> okay, well, this is, like I said, this is the best deck I've seen us have, and uh, we lost the, lost the game. So, you know, what are you going to do? Bank mage. Good to see you, buddy. He will make you black and blue like the Dark Slick Shores. That is correct. That is correct. YouTube after this. Uh, so probably not after this. Katie's going to be home and then we're going to go. Listen to this. We're going to go to the Chili's. Baby back ribs, y'all. Um, We like going out to dinner like once a week. Uh, we do it a lot, a lot less frequently than we did before COVID just because it's, it's still a thing. Uh, and we don't want to deal with it. But, you know, we still go out every so often and... So we're going to get some food, but I will come back later tonight and do one because I want to get another video in and I want to get another cube in and I want to see you guys again. And I miss you guys. It's wonderful. What watch <laughs> last time we drafted in person, you complimented my weekend or now rocking. Oh my God. You got an explorer too. Well, see. Okay. So that's funny because I also got a new watch. Yeah. So this year, uh, well, I guess last year, to commemorate getting full time at Scopely, I bought. See, I bought myself. Okay, so it's all God. It's a long story. Um, so in order to get a Rolex, you have to be on a waiting list. You actually have to build a reputation with an authorized dealer. You can't just go into a store. You can't just buy one. They are the the supply. The demand for Rolex far outweighs the supply. So earlier in the year, around January, I went into a couple different authorized dealers and I said, you know, I'm interested in this. I'd love to be put on your list. And so they put me on the list and I would come in periodically and check on them. I picked up different, different things from them. I, I picked up a different Omega Seamaster from uh, one of them. Um, and, you know, after a few months, <laughs> it's like six months, actually, after like five to six months, uh, I got a call and they were like, hey, we got. Uh, a, an Oyster Perpetual 41. 41 is the millimeter with a green dial if you are interested. 
And I was like, I am completely interested. So I went in and I picked it up and it has been my favorite watch ever since. And not only because like it commemorates like me getting a full-time game design position earlier this year. I mean, I got the, I was working at Scopely for like two years, but this early this year in like March, I finally was, uh, made a full-time employee. So, but yeah, in order to commemorate that, I was like, you know what? I'd like to treat myself to a really nice watch. And so I did. And it's, it's showing up very well here. So, yeah. And I wear it all the time. The Oyster Perpetual is a great mix of, like, sport and dress. So it's, it kind of goes with everything. The green dial is one of my favorite things. And it's super cool. So... And the, and the great thing about Rolex is like, this is the, the watch. As soon as I walked out the door with it, it was worth like 3000 more than I paid. Like, that's just how Rolex works. Like on the secondary market, they actually go for more than the retail value. So <laughs> when this baby right here, <laughs> um, I'm a watch collector in as much as I can be. I, I like watches. Um, so we can play Telerian Academy and keep up Counterspell. That seems good. You know, we're drawing two cards a turn. That seems fine. Um, I'm a watch collector in as much as I can be. Like, it's obviously an expensive hobby where, like, you can't just pick up a watch every month. I mean, I couldn't anyway. I'm not, I don't have that kind of, I don't have that level of disposable income, especially now. But, you know, I do like nice watches and like having, I have like goal watches where I'm like, okay, this is my next thing I want to grab, or this is my next, uh, have I ever watched Marshall's repair channel more than I would like to admit? Yes. His repair channel is extremely impressive. And it's funny because it's the kind of channel where as I've watched it, I've like documented the different tools he uses. And I'm like, okay, I should probably pick this up. That's cheap. Or I can, oh, I can grab this for, for pretty treat for pretty cheap. And this is like a useful thing I can do. Um, and so it's it's funny because like you're watching the channel, but like you're also like curating like a list of things that like maybe this is handy to have. My goal watch is an art attack of the clones Yoda Burger King watch with the brand new battery for fourteen ninety nine. Why don't you just why don't you just buy that? I'm no expert, but that seems fairly attainable. Oh yeah, I can't do that. So this guy, one, two, three, and then we'll do four. And then we'll just play him. Oh, they're gonna pay some costs. They're not gonna pay some costs. And a drain. Oh, no, sir. No, my friend. If this is a regular counter spell, I'd definitely let it resolve. But to give you a free mana drain, that I cannot abide. Four extra mana next turn. And I don't get my hangerback walker? No, sir. Oh, a mana crypt, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, okay, they changed their mind. They want to do six. Oh, they do want to do seven. They just want a green. I, I, I remember clearly saying that this was going to be a one-two match. Magic watches, man. Those are some... Extra yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, a force of will. Could be worse. See, the unfortunate part is we can't actually cast a hangerback walker after that. Uh, we have ten cards. Got to discard three, huh? Island. 
winter orb. Probably swamp, honestly. Okay, so now we're in Field of the Dead territory. This deck is pretty impressive. I, I'm enjoying it personally. But maybe they're stuck, you know? Maybe they don't have anything else after this. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think it's true that they actually don't have anything after this, but... Well, they played Mana Crypt because they were playing Time Spiral, so it was just going to go away, you know? But, oh, here she comes. Yeah, I was in the middle of a story. I'm literally talking while I stream. Is that okay? No. <laughs> no? All right, we're going to play this guy. Spot for me? If you'd like it to be. Yeah, sorry. Wow, you're you're actually very sh short. Wow, <laughs> interesting. I feel like you were this short. It's way too low now, but that's okay, I guess. All right. Is that right? Okay. Now I have to get. I'm like I'm disoriented now, so I have to like figure out what's going on and where so I am. Sorry. You know what, babe? I'll let it slide this time. But is she short or is the chair? She's not that short. The chair is just really low, apparently. It's like two inches. Was everyone at work like, wow, she's so tall? I understand. It's too bad. You it's Maybe. Mike's fault. Maybe I'm eight feet it's tall. True. You keep disappearing out out of the. Yeah, it's true. There's nothing you can really do. Oh, that's not that's not it. You're really trying though, and that's really the important part. I did not tell them that. Sixth birthday today, you guys. It is Wally's sixth birthday today. He's this perfect little gentleman. Perfect gentleman. I quite enjoy playing TWD, The Walking Dead. Quite enjoy. Didn't I say that? You said I quite enjoy. <laughs> it's not what I meant to say. Yeah, he's doing a big lick behind us. Is it Michael B? He is not code for Mike B. He is Wally. And he is the bestest, sweetest boy. And then there's Michael. So I have to use this. Like I have exactly seven in my pool. And they're like, which seven would you like to use to cast this? I'm like, I don't know, the only seven I got, I guess. Specific seven ones. I don't so. have I don't have that many to choose from. What do you got there? Watson? Yeah, I got a Watson. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. He was petting his head and looking into his eyeballs. Did you let them out when you got home? 
All four of them were laying down here sleeping on the couch. Hello, Wasam. Come say hi. Oh, he's probably back on his Grogu. A good little gentleman. I hope our opponent just draws nothing but trash. Oh, that's rude. It's not. It's a competitive game, and I I prefer to win than lose. So oh. I hope they have bad luck, <laughs> and they have no fun. That's what I hope for when I play the lottery. Yeah, people say GLHF. I'm like. Oh, great. They're going to get their good cards back. You're a BL. I'm a BL and NF. Yeah, HNF, right. And they're like, what does that mean? And I'm like, don't worry about it. Just do it, though. They didn't get the time spiral. Oh, we're just going to. We're just going to upheaval again. Exhausted. Two. I was thinking they were going to get time spiral, but. You ever got an itchy nostril? No, my nostrils never nost nostrils. My nostrils. My nostrils never niche. Is Nifty Chris somebody on our wedding guest? Yes, it's Chris. The one on the Yes, it's literally Chris. <laughs> I don't know that many Chris's with K R I S spelling. Oh, Do we live stream on our Yeah, let's live stream the wedding. Everyone will be invited. Think of the think of the subs. That's what they see Watson being a groomsman. That's true. Are you running fertile at ground? <laughs> Is that a meme from me and Rob's set review? You know what's worse than upheavaling? Not doing it fast and then like just dirtling here. You know you're going to play Forest. You're going to tap it for Fast Bond, right? You're going to play a bunch of lands. Like, we all know what's happening here. There you go. Then you're going to play another land because you're going to have to discard them. So you might as well. There are five, I guess. Oh, Anybody have a lightning bolt? I like that you use two different pronouns in that if he plays a bunch of lands, they die. They being the lands? The lands die? Yeah, all right. Now there are two. I'm 13. So, like, they still have a lot of work to, like, make zombies and kill me because they can't actually put two more lands into play. That's their hand. Yeah. In their hand. <laughs> oh, is that all? God, ink hold. I want to like shit well, am I right? You know? You know, babe? You know about the shit well? Yeah. Special tricks. You just gotta. I just play a single land. It's a Misha's workshop. It's a $3,000 land. I guess I gotta count for something, right? Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's trash. Who knows? Uh, discard until I have seven, huh? I'll discard a Caracas. And probably another island, to be honest with you. Oh my god, look at Watson's little face. Okay. Yeah, it's so silly. What a silly thing that, that makes that notifies people of who supported you. Ivory. Well, I have these two guys in hand, so I guess they get Sundering Titan, and then they kill a bunch of their land. I don't understand what's going on right now, to be honest with you. I don't know, but I bet when they play it, they'll be like, swings. Oh, I bet they get Golos. Golos would be a good choice. Thank you! What's a catchphrase? Swings. <laughs> Music Manly, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate your Prime Gaming support. If you guys have Amazon Prime, feel free to... You could, you could sub through that. I resub the other day. Oh, you just say, thanks for the support. 
I support you every day. Thanks for getting divorced. Yeah. Do Chris, you want to come to that too? Hanger bag for one seems good, but how does it die? God, I really take in there. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I might be busy that weekend. It's a day. That's a lot. That's a high average. What about Watson? You ever divorced Watson? No, no. What are you in? What? Are you insane? Wow, that's. <laughs> Am I an old curmudgeon, or have most chain restaurants gotten significantly gotten worse in the past fifteen years? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe my, so I'm not sure if it's that they've gotten worse or that our expectations have changed as we've gotten older. Mm -hmm. Like I know when I was 22, me eating at a Chili's was like the best restaurant I could go to. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> chips and salsa with some ranch, uh, turkey sandwich, you know, like for my money, Bennigan's was the best place I could be at. Oh, I didn't remember the Turkey O'Toole with their seasoned French fries. Like that's, that's it. Everyone loved the Monte Cristo. I was the, the I was the Turkey O'Toole guy. Okay, listen, I'm a Turkey O'Toole man. Okay, oh, no. don't say it all negatively. I know. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's so sad for you. I'm sorry. My Turkey O'Toole ness is. I do is... agree that I think other hole in the wall places have also gotten better. Like I think there's just better food out there. It's just better to play hanger back here. It's better to do whatever you think because you are the one that has top aided protein. I am part of the one. See what I did there? I'm funny. I don't know what you're doing. Hey. Attention. You don't need to do that. We need to finish this game. Hanger back walker. I guess so because they just can't attack, right? Because then they die. What we could have done is used two for hanger back walker for one play a Talarian Academy tap Talarian Academy for two tap the Island and the signet and also played course of portal. That would have been better. Worst chain restaurant. Oh, that's tough, man. TGI Fridays is low on my list. Uh, the boy is here. Applebee's 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 is, probably... is low. No, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Applebee's is low. But if you go for the half price appetizers after nine, kind of worth it. Like two dollars cheese sticks. Hooters, as far as food goes, I think is actually pretty good. I don't think I have a problem with Hooters food. Well, I have no problems with Wally, but I don't think he's a restaurant. Donos. Hank the Turkey Tool Man. <laughs> Wow, that's a deep that's a deep home improvement throwback there. I feel like we don't go to the bad ones, so it's hard for me to Nowhere think. Nowhere was it defined worse food. Touche. I don't actually know how my opponent wins this, because if as soon as they kill this guy, I get two flowers and kill them. As soon as I play Glenelendra. I kill them. I guess they have to amass enough that I can't. I can only block one, and they still get thirteen damage through. Well, but even if you attack, don't they have to? Oh, oh they, they have, have to, to block. block. Yeah. But then I get two flyers. So that might actually be. Wait, you get one damage? ones equal to the number of counters. I don't know what she's saying, to be honest. Oh, that's... Six years since I've thought about any of these cards. Oh, okay. So it's it's hard for me, okay? I'm so sorry it's difficult. I'm so sorry. We will use three... Do they have a flower? They don't have anything. They suck. I don't. Why? Do you want to hammer something? Oh, um, yeah, no. I, I have a tape. My, my tool of choice right now is a tape measure. Because I'll always like lift things and like play with them while I'm here. 
because of ADHD, probably. Sometimes I just hear it snapping closed in the distance. Actually, you know what? Oh, no, I lose the black, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just play Glenn here. Do you think they have a counterspell in their deck? I would be surprised. I guess I'm going to... Oh, they have Mana Drain. We know that. But this isn't a Mana Drain. This is some other nonsense that they're doing. Okay. I <sighs> could not be more thrilled about that. I guess that's how they win. Good times were had by all. Exactly. It's Mike's Carabas. Oh, they have Ancestral Recall. Or Ancestral, yeah, Ancestral Recall as well. How nice. Always a pleasure to see. And on their stream, they're probably like, shwing. Do you think they just keep saying their name? <laughs> Fascinating. I feel really sad if I just can't deal one final point to them. One, two, three, four. I don't have an extra land, so I actually can't cast Riftwing Cloudskate here. And we know they still have Mana Drain in their deck. So that's... Oh, Mana Drain's in the graveyard. Wonderful. That's good to know. I don't know what's going on. These games are blending together. Katie's here. Watson's here. Hunter's snoring on the floor. You guys are... Well, I'm just sitting here quietly. With Marcy. Of course, my mistake. Boy left. On land. Not a land. Sounds good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we just play Battle Sphere here. I mean, they'll counter it, I'm sure, but, you know. Well, he was like, I'm out of here. Make sure you counter my battle sphere. You never want to let it resolve. Make sure you counter everything I have. Instant speed to get back Mystic Confluence. Cool. Like, die. Uh -huh. I mean, that's a cool play, but it's still frustrating. Casting Relic off the shop, while it is a thing we can do, does not do much. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are dead. One, two, just as predicted, with the probably the best deck I thought we drafted. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're, you might be able to win off time. They have 11 minutes. Sounds good. Uh, right, but I, if I'm going to either play Cloud Skate or, Hangar ba or uh, Mirror Battle Sphere, I'll just... I'll just play the mirror battle sphere. That's just bigger. And it's the same clock because I just tap one mirror and kill them because they're one. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Be sure to follow and subscribe. Slam the button below. Do the things. You guys are wonderful. I thought that was game. Still do the things. Like, still do the things. Like, don't not do the things because it's not over. So I'll see you guys later in game see two. That? that game was so long and they upheavaled twice. I literally just thought it was a different game. I think I had a stroke. What if we bring an arm again? Does that seem good? Oh yeah, that seems real good. Papa likes an arm again. Uh, how many white sources is this? One, two... Orzov Signet's three, Coalition Relic is four. Golos can find it. They do have counter spells, but you know, it's Armageddon, right? Like, come on. It kills all their lands, you know? Play a mana tide. I was thinking about it. I think it might be too cute. Oh, we also have Azori Signet. Both of our signets are white. Oh, you might want off that. That's why you said. So here's the thing, Monsonster. The problem is you're a troll so consistently. That when you say that, I think like, oh, he's just being a troll because there's 11 minutes. So really, it's, you know, it's your own fault, really. You really just turned that around on. You brought it on yourself is what I'm saying. You could have owned up to the fact he didn't know they're on game. I did. I totally owned up to it. I already did that. I already did that. Wow. By blaming Monsonster.
that's not how I did it. I did it like way before. Okay, we're done. We're divorced again. Yeah, I'm sorry. This two relationship is really a roller coaster. Looks like it's another two divorce day, guys. This is McGimmis friend Frank. I <laughs> this is Mike Larson's brother. He went to BlizzCon with us when we went to BlizzCon. Like that's actually Mike Larson's brother, or that's like a character that Mike Larson plays called Mike Larson. No, it's literally his brother. It's his brother, Andy. Dwyer? Yeah, it's Andy Dwyer. Yeah, his last name is Dwyer. It's it really... It it's neither of... Uh, actually, and I think it is Andy Larson, isn't it? Watson's really making some, some noises here. He's like... Yeah, thanks for dogs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry, bro. Uh, never police are on their way. Mike Larson. Mike. In our house, he is only referred to as Mike Larson. I think it's just because there's so many Mikes. In general, I don't think we know many, but in like it's just a life policy. You're like, hey, there's a lot of Mikes out there. Let's just be clear about it, okay? It's just a first name, last name, friend, and that's okay. Oh, okay. So do I winter orb here? Hmm. Wouldn't that be interesting? I got two spells coming off. Trying not to. We live in a tricky, it's a tricky life here. Yeah, tricky You're life. literally just disappeared. Fully gone. That's weird. How do you make yourself up here? I think I'm just closer and it sees me as foreground and it sees you as background. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I mean, let's be fair. He's a potato. That's true. He is a potato, but I'm not sure what that has to do with his name. <laughs> look at this look at this little little traveler getting in here They're so big that they hit the microphone. How big are they? So big. That's wild. And I think after this game, we get to go to Chili's, maybe. Yes, that's the that's the goal. A. You know about the goal? A. Fresh, delicious goal A's, made hot, right here. Yes. Fresh hot goalies. Get in there. Get them. Schwingzilla that. That's rude. Sorry. That's <laughs> Watson's doing a big snore over here. They've slept all day. All four of them where you could see them in a row. It was Hunter... Wally in his bed, Watson on the couch, little man right behind him on the couch. I a picture. Okay. Should I counter this? Or should I just let them die to their own? I'm afraid they have mana drain. It's going to put me just way far behind. Actually, maybe I just counter whatever they play here. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's not a thing we're doing here. I understand why you'd think it was, but... Especially when they're able to tap down our winter orb and untap all their things. That seems... I'm sorry I scared you, Monsonster. Monsonster? Monster? You're doing good. I'll just call him Monster. That sounds good, yeah. Everyone knows it's Mike B. Boom, boom, boom. 
bom, bom, bom. What? Swords of Tires and Lice? Well, because it doesn't do anything. And then we would have tapped out for them to cast opposition, and then we would have never won. It's true. Did they lose the flip or win the flip? They lost. No, not the coin flip. The flip for Mana Crypt. The, man the Crypt flip. So dumb. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you are not. I didn't even know what flip we were talking about. Just so you know, there's one person in this room with a PhD, and it's not me. So is it called me. a PhD? No. What is it? A VDMPD? F? I just stuck an F in there for good measure. Is that correct? Did I nail it? Yeah, it stands for father. <laughs> I'm the father of veterinary vets. Wow, that's really impressive. It's a DVM. And then the next ones are going to be like MS and then DACVR. This is alphabet soup. They have one blue source up so this seems safe and it was hooray monster oh, got it what did he get oh, was that for my name oh madagascar yeah a dvm madagascar yeah, and then we can go right now Dan. so i think we just play glenn okay. and keep up a blue source and then we just have such a good board and they have mana crypt to kill them slowly. They're going to counter this, but they didn't counter the treachery. No, they're going to draw a bunch of cards. I see. What is it? I'm killing them. You're watching how I win. You're watching it happen right is now. Is that how your deck works? Uh, no. What are you supposed to be tutoring? Like, what is? What are you trying to do here? I don't really need to play lands. They're at 10, and we have 6 power on the board, and they have a mana crypt. So I assume that no more lands are necessary. See, that's that's just rude. But if that dies, we get it back, so I guess that's fine. Demonic tutor, so I'll just untap this guy over here. Oh, there's another mic. There's more so. There's so many mics. Uh, Nissa is whenever you play a land, not a forest, but it only searches for forests, and then it exiles and returns to its owner's control. Oh wow, this is great for us. So we get our guy back. Oh, so this is what we're going to do. You ready for this? You can't be ready. There's no way. I'm ready. Misha's workshop. Play it. Tap oh, it. $3, okay. <laughs> I did. It was really aggressive and impressive. They won the flip again. God, we're never going to win at this rate. Remember that time I ended the video and you guys were still here because I didn't because uh, I didn't end the game. It was actually just uh, to grab one. Everyone remained. Still here. Huntsy still back there, just staring at uh, oh, what's his bucket in front of the Hulk? Oh, what's his bucket? His name was Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Good lord. I was like, that that actor I like, you know the one. Bruce Banner? Yeah, but the guy who plays him, that looks nice. Mark Bruce. Ruffalo. That looks nice. You sound like a nice grandmother. Person. Nice. He's looking nice today. So if I do this, I don't think, I don't know what they can do. They have Mystic Confluence, which they can play at instant speed. But they can only bounce a creature. I think we're just going to put a charge counter on this. Because like if we countered the Mystic Confluence anyway, we would lose our Glenelendra. So, um, I 
Going well. Good grief. What if I do this? What do you do then? Do you have an answer? This is so wild to me. Oh, it is a Mystic Confluence. Would you look at that? Draw two and return this to my hand. I mean, the odds of us replaying it are fairly low. Because of counter date? No, because it's just, it costs four mana and we got a Winter Orb and it's a whole to-do. But then I don't want them to draw two, but I think I have seven cards already. I have five, I'll go to seven, they'll go to eight. Like, and that's over temptation was really... Yes, thank you. Counter. Yeah, next turn we can actually play Golos and get Talarian Academy. That's like that's actually seems good. Oh, Monsonster literally said that exact thing. I think you should have untapped workshop and used Golos to get Academy. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Like I said, it's Who's really... Playing Magic on stream is really difficult, especially when you have other people interacting with you. And that's, mean. that's true. He doesn't like that. It's not that I don't like it. It just does contribute to my misplays. Like, it's not, it's not bad or good. It's just, it is a thing that exists in the world. Oh. You want some fart? Oh, yeah. Oh, no tears. I have not experienced it yet. Oh, Watson, what have you done? from Watson's little sweater he was a gassy boy Sometimes you let your little toots out you know boy do you I don't Starting was a little excessive, but that's okay, I guess. They've won a single coin. I lost a single coin flip in the past five turns. How nice for them. What are they getting back here? Opposition, probably. Sower of Temptation. Really? Not opposition to tap down Winter Orb and Golos and lock me out of the game forever? That's an interesting choice. We're going to get that back a different way next turn. Academy, I guess. Yes, because we have Azorius Signet, Black, and red green here. The problem is, I don't think we're gonna. Should have maybe we should have attacked Krakus here. Oh god. Make funny jokes. You don't have everything. You don't have winner. What do you? Say? What's what's going on? What are you, what am I missing here? Oh, I see. They tap Winter Orb at the end of my turn. They untap their stuff, and then it's still tapped on my turn. Yeah, that that's that's fair. That's true. It is a fair. Actually, if we put this on here, the sower doesn't do anything, right? So who even cares, you know? He gives a shapoopy. Beautiful.
Seems good, right? Seven power. Got a block, so. It bounced. Do we play a land? No. Could we have played? I don't know anymore. Eh, whatever. They bounced the winter orb. <laughs> That'd be good Thank for us, you. I guess. Glad to see you back. Sorry for the other reason why. I appreciate it. Thank you for the resub, J Link. I would appreciate you saying so, buddy. What did they do? They just played Forest. Got it. Check it and see. Again. I know, they're magical. Sower. We know they have a sower and two other cards in hand. So that's not the worst. He says cavalierly. Time walk would be cool. Six, seven, black, green, great Golosos. Galoot instead of Galos? No. I guess. Gonna find yours first. Green. Cool. What's it like to never not have it? There's um, chump block, and then they attack us for a billion. Sure. You saying? Can they start losing flips? Finally. Oh my god, just in time to give you this. Seven mana. Seems good. I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a spectral being behind you flitting in and out of existence. Ah, that doesn't sound true. What are the odds of that being the case? I've read that in Professor Quarles. Voice. Quarles? Yeah. Who is that? Oh. He runs into the great hall and he's like, just look. Then he passes out after it's a whole thing. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Kind of revealing. But they don't have, oh, they only have, they're only floating eight mana though, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Always a pleasure, upheaval. Like I said, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe because those things help keep me alive. Subscribe to keep me alive. That's what I always say. And me sometimes. Mm. Wally and Watson. Mm. Hunsey. Freddy. Reggie. Oh yeah, our bearded, our bearded dragon is Freddy and our ball python is Reggie. Those are some new pets we've acquired. I was going to actually bring Reggie down and stream with him today around my neck or something, but... Oh. Because I was afraid it'd be too much to manage if he tries to start sneaking away. I have 19 cards in my hand. How do they feel? They floated 8 mana and only played this? Why didn't they play the other... What? Did they not play a land? They didn't play the mana? What's going on right now? Did they did they play a land and then... And then upheaval? Even though they had... What the... What? I'm so confused right now. And still win and then play the last game with two minutes on the clock oh god I forgot there was another game clean up huh one two three four six seven eight <laughs> oh 
Oh, it's left. Hanger back. I'm more? Oh my god. Island? Hope I didn't... Oh, it's still more, huh? Okay, well. Course of portal. Okay, that's... Jesus, God. Do you think we have any lands in our deck? I actually don't know. For our turn two Golos. I feel like this was... I was expecting this to be way more exciting for them because they had a million things to do. Oh, now we get to keep that up? No, we don't. We know a blue card. So we'll play this. Oh, I should have played Talarian Academy. One, two, three, four. Oh, they have Sower, don't they? That's unfortunate. Well, see, that's bad. See, this is another thing. Like, I just, I just didn't keep track of it because... So they're going to play the blue-green land, tap it, and draw a tree speaker to steal my Golos. And I don't have a second blue card. Yep. That's really annoying. Metal worker. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power on board, and I have literally nothing. Sounds good. It's my monsters. Oh, pit one. It's right there. Yeah, it's just annoying. Like, like it takes forty seconds to do like one action on here. I don't know. Plus, it's like I had to keep track of this stupid thing in their hand that I realized too late. I probably should have just played Bitter Blossom. I typed a comment for here into there by mistake. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. Oh, Jana, what's going on, buddy? It's good to see you again for the first time. I've been so bored. I even uh, recurred to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyway, I see we're playing another non-red deck. I would say I am surprised, but that would put me put me red. Is that a saying? By the way, what's the win con of it? It's supposed to be big, fat artifact idiots, but I don't actually have any of those, unfortunately. I haven't seen Sundering Titan, which would probably be good here. Killing three lands or um, Inkwell Leviathan, which is a you know one turn kill. All right, just attack with that guy. Good, good. Metalworkers holding down the fort here, I guess. Speak of the devil. Here it is. Ready? It was an island. Dang. See, my positive thinking did not pay off there. It's time is just time. Yeah. You can counter this? I'll deny it. I think we're just dead on board, right? We block the three. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As long as they see it. <laughs> I guess they'll see it. Say no to that. That guy's just big and scary and stupid. Remember when I had Time Walk in the deck too? You guys ever know where that went? So in my deck right now is Mirror Battle Sphere, Time Walk, and Sundering Titan out of eight cards. Three out of eight cards are, are those. And then it's not red enough to attack you. Cool. <laughs> it's wrong and that's the end all right one two just as we predicted thank you guys for watching really appreciate it really glad we played that out and uh got to lose completely rather than only halfway and uh it's real this time I'll this time you. he's leaving i'll see you next time
Thanks, guys.